morning everybody we're back at it this morning at miss moreland and we are continue on or keeping on keeping on however you want to say it rebuilding the facade and the interior wall we are finished with the first floor going up to the second you can see where we're working right there and it's coming back together it looks awesome not having that big old crack there um, Frank's doing a really good job doing that okay first thing this morning I'm gonna mix up a double batch of hot lime mortar for Frank to put up there I got my six little bowls of sand two of the lime and then I'm gonna add some water and let it bake for a little bit and then I'll take it up to Frank the bad part about doing this is mosquitoes love the quote spirit that comes out and they I'm I guess yummy to them anyway because they bite me all the time so they just are really attracted from all the the um, steam and stuff coming off the mortar. Big Gary Lou. Hi. Why is your pile smoking? Hot plum or steam or from the chemical reaction between the water and the lime. Oh. So it's cooking. So, so it's turning the, the water dissolves it and turns into a powder and then I mix it with the sand and then I add more water to make the mortar. And it's hot. And yes, it is hot. And it attracts mosquitoes. That's what I said earlier. I said that's the worst part about me. I like mixing it, but the worst part is, is the mosquitoes. And I tend to get several bites. So, yes, I do put off on. But this is, you can't rush this process, really. Because it needs the moisture in it to break down all the right and if you Hot lime mortar if you rush it then it doesn't dissolve into the powder and oops my side over here is collapsing that's good right yeah looks like a steaming pile baby <laughs> it is it's very warm yep ready for me to break it open sure <laughs> See, you can see it bubbling right in there. Bugs up the camera. Yeah, it does that. See, all that's nice and soft. It goes from gravel to just, just soft, really soft. Chunks of lime. And then we use it to put the stones back in. Yep, and it's strong. Okay, yesterday I got those stones all cleaned off of the old mortar. And that way when Frank asks for them in our little jigsaw puzzle out here, they're ready to go. That's a big one. Yeah, it is. I already had to put it on and take it off once. <laughs> we had to scoot it over, but that's okay. It's only three eighths to half an inch. But in the scheme of things, it makes a huge difference. It made a huge difference. He'll prime them by getting the stones wet, putting a little mortar on them, and then setting them up. And then it's pretty much rinse and repeat for every stone. You gotta get them wet so they'll stick. Yeah, and it um, this, you can't rush this process by any means. You just kind of gotta let it and do it. It's enjoyable, just relaxing and just doing it. Yeah, and he's got his his paper out there that tells him which one goes where, which we've shown you <laughs> many times. 
that triangle one was how we knew it was scooted over too far because it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit. So. It wouldn't fit, so we had to quit. And because it needs to have room, it needs to be level. It has room for the the mortar. 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 It has to fit for the mortar. So got to check and see if it all fits and then he'll more door it in. I think they were doing it as they went. <clears throat> Cutting stones as they went. Oh, I'm sure they were. We have to figure out what stones they cut and what they used. After a slight rain delay, Frank's back at it. Yay. <laughs> Trying to make stones fit where they're supposed to fit. Yep. That little triangle one is in there. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Yeah. It's not like a puzzle puzzle where the pieces are exactly fitted. <laughs> I guess these are exactly fitted, but lots of drama. Lots of drama. Well. Because there was a big old crack in that side, so you don't know exactly how far that needs to go. My mason skills. <laughs> yeah. in the mud. That's pretty much what it is. All of this is gonna get pounded out anyway. But at least I start with something in there. Yeah, I don't think it all is gonna get pounded out. Oh yeah, this watch. Well, I not try to all fit this stone of it. Underneath that stone and in between those stones. Yeah. So yeah. That's good. So this is like putting together something from IKEA without the instructions? Sure. Sure, that's what it is, baby. Without making all the others that you put in move. Mm-hmm. Close enough. Looks good. Frank is doing a dry fit of some of those upper stones to make sure they fit into place. So. Right, so they came out of, so they've got to fit, right? They've got to fit. Those are famous last words. They've got to fit. they got to fit. Do my priming thing. Yeah. Make sure it sticks really good. We want it to stick really, really good. Frank shoving the mortar in the joints. Pointing. Get the point? I'm pointing. <laughs> You're a pointer. Did your mom ever tell you it's not nice to point? Yeah. Mama never told me it was tedious and boring, that's for sure. <laughs> I sometimes wonder how much mortar winds up on the ground. Um, a lot. But, it's how it works. You got more. Carrie can make more. I can make more. Got to reference my picture. I just did 24F. Now we've got to do 22. But I need to figure out 12 looks flat, so I guess I need to take. Oh, I need to fix that one and that one. And, uh. Try to finish those first, huh? I'm really glad that we thought thought of that. Numbering them? Yeah, I think that was your idea. Of course. <laughs> the styrofoam did a really nice job of keeping the music room dry. Yeah. That is exciting to see that that stayed nice and dry. So we were going to put 
the storm window back in there, but it was fastened into the frame and the frames aren't going to go in for quite a while because they have to be rebuilt and that's later down the road. So let me climb down. I've got to go make another batch of hot lime mortar for Frank hot lime. so he can continue to um, building blocks. <laughs> Okay, the next batch of hot lime mortar is all ready to go. And Frank is priming it. Priming it for these ones over here. Little tiny stones. Little tiny stones. It's always something. Yep. This is exciting. <laughs> it's this is action TV. <laughs> but it's all part of restoring old houses. It's doing the monotonous, but it's very... Some people would rather just pay somebody. Yeah. However, this is very rewarding once you see it coming back up and Knowing no what it used to be. Yeah, no cracks. no cracks. That great big one is getting ready to go in right over there. Driving it. This is a very delicate operation. Trying to get all these stones at the same time. Right. You got to. What they did with them, or if they. Yeah. Got a great big one sitting on very narrow triangles. <laughs> so, very delicate operation. Only two more pieces to go. And then this stone underneath the window is back together again. But it has not... There's a lot of work trying to get these stones to go back in in the right position and level and plumb. Yep. And wondering if they made any mistakes or I'm sure they didn't. I'm sure they didn't. That last piece is primed. Position is primed. Don't quite have enough mortar but I'll make it stick. And go back and point it in a in a bit when I make more. The last piece is in. And then the window sill goes on top of this, but we're going to, again, fill in this part, kind of continue on with the tie beam with concrete for better support behind these windows. And it will make a good, we'll continue the wall, the concrete block right here, all the way up. Does it look like the picture? There's the picture. There it is. I think it looks fantastic. We'll finish pointing those ones in a bit. Very good. What a puzzle. <laughs>